everyone. Today we are going to discuss a website that lets you use voice-to-text software. It uses Google speech recognition to transcribe your spoken words into text, and it stores the converted text in your browser only, so no data is uploaded anywhere else. The website we are going to use is called dictation.io. So let's go there, dictation. .io. This is their main website. If you want to see how to perform certain commands while you are typing, such as how to end a sentence or start a new paragraph, click on this voice commands button. Then it's going to ask for your language. And you can see from the side menu that this website even lets you add emojis as well. So you can click on each option here to see the commands for each one. Most of you are probably going to use this punctuation marks option here. So I give this a, a quick look through just to see everything that you can do. Now click on voice dictation when you're done. Then click on launch dictation. Now you'll see this notepad right here will give you a few instructions. But when you are ready, you can hit the start button here. Obviously, it's going to ask permission to use your microphone. You have to hit allow if you want this to work. So we'll just click allow. So I am skipping ahead here because it will not let me record my voice as I am dictating something. So this is just what I dictated. And what's nice is that you can click in it and modify anything right here on the notepad if you'd like. So I'm going to capitalize the F and the H at the beginning of our sentences. And once we're here, I can highlight this and change the font to bold. I can italicize it. I can underline it. I can change the font color. I can change the font background. I can change the alignment. I can add a numbered list, a bulleted list. So you can do a lot here. And then once you're done, I would recommend copying this and pasting it into a Word document. You can also print this, but if you print it, it will print as a PDF and it will have a header and footer on it. But if you don't want to have that timestamp there or that footer, once again, just copy and paste it into a Word document. This concludes our overview of dictation.io. It's a fun website to use and may come in handy. If you have trouble typing or want to speed up the process, it's not perfect, but it does give you a good foundation. If you have any issues or questions, you can contact your local library and we would be happy to assist you.